I've said it before and I'll say it again. TV producers do not believe there's a hurricane unless there's a reporter standing on the beach being blown sideways. Guess what, folks? The same is true of a snowstorm. And if you don't go to the meeting, you end up being the reporter who stands out in the snowstorm. That's me this morning. I'm out here on Meridian Street. We're going to be checking in throughout Lifestyle Live and give you updates on how things are developing across greater Indianapolis. Randall, are you nice and cozy in there? Oh, it's, it's awfully cozy in here, George. Awfully cozy. We're warming you up because of that outside weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm liking this better than, than what George is facing outside. <laughs> I've done that plenty of times over the years. Right, there, right. So, Taking a break. George doesn't show up for the meeting. That's what happens. That's what happens. You know, That's what happens. Show up there, Randall. So, hey, all aboard. Take that special someone on a train ride for Valentine's Day. We're going to hop on the Nickel Plate Express. All right. And then also coming up, we have a way to warm up, warm things up. Pavel and the Direct Contact Band are here making some great Latin jazz music. And Pavel's cooking up a seafood casserole. Yes. Also, double duty today. Check yes, that out. Yes, yes. You know, he, Pavel, he's great. He, he, he's a, a gentleman that loves everybody. Man, and energy. And he has so much emotion and energy, too. Oh, my God. Yeah. So awesome. Great to have him in the studio with us and his band of course all right guys so we got to get into of course what everybody's talking about today with the weather let's do it in fact uh, we're going to show you some graphics here real quick I, I called the weather service and they're up to 2.1 inches of snow altogether that's in the city southwest side just barely over two inches of snow there is a live look at west lafayette uh, up there at purdue university over eight inches of snowfall so far the snow is still coming on down here's some of the snowfall totals again a few of those reports are, are old lafayette at least 8.8 .8. kokomo eight inches of snow atlanta 6.5 frankfurt 5.5 .5. Thorntown, four inches of snowfall, and uh, here in India, again, just over two inches of snow, and it's still snowing. Much of the state, winter storm warning, you get down there in southern Indiana, in Kentucky, that's an ice storm warning. Uh, no matter where you're going, it's going to be uh, pretty te treacherous out there. This is our second wave moving on through. You can see some dark or blue showing up, so the rain snow line now is uh, located just to the uh, Oh, southeast around Greensburg Point South, where that's the combination of freezing rain and sleet. But as we watch our future cast model, that should change over to all snow down across the uh, southern part of the state into this afternoon. And it's going to snow right on through this evening. In fact, the snow should taper off sometime later tonight. Now, this is our snowfall prediction map. We're calling for another five inches, nine inches, maybe a little heavy, but five perhaps six, seven inches of snowfall here in central Indiana. And when it does change over to all snow downstate, you guys will end up with a good three to five inches of snowfall, maybe more. So, you know, Rando, if you don't have to go out and travel, just kind of stay home and watch Lifestyle Live. Yeah, you know what? That's a good idea. I yeah. think. I, think I may do of, that, too. You, know? you, you think you might do that? Yeah, I might do <laughs> so. Oh, man, speaking of dealing with things right here at home, we have our man George out there. Uh, checking everything out outside, checking George. out those cold conditions. Hey, hey George. George, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> I, I'm good. You know, and it's it's really not bad. Uh, just to kind of confirm what what you were describing there, Randy. Um, as we speak, we we're in a in. A, it's funny because it's blowing sideways right now, but um, we have not had the great pileup of snow yet. But obviously, that is coming. Uh, speaking of which, I just want to show you the consistency of what what we're talking about here. This is um, this is okay snowman making snow can you tell i got a nine-year-old boy because that's that's how we sum up snow it's sticking together okay because of the dampness that we had yesterday uh, but i suspect that throughout the day today this stuff is going to be drying out i, I want to tell you a little bit about the roads as we look at meridian street here because we've got some traffic now uh, i drove down from carmel early this morning uh, the good news is that there simply was not a lot of traffic out there so obviously you're safer if if people who are uh, not experienced driving in the snow, decide not to drive in the snow. So the drive down Meridian Street from up in Carmel was pretty good this morning. Just left a lot of distance between myself and the cars in front of me. Uh, a lot of stopping distance. I probably averaged like 24 miles an hour all the way down Meridian Street. So it obviously took me a lot longer than it normally would. But 
by and large, uh, people are being respectful out here on the streets. People are allowing you to, to pull into traffic if you need to. And, and frankly, you've got a lot of space. Um, so, but throughout the day today, as Randy has pointed out, we're going to have a lot of snow. Things are going to pile up. So if you do have a choice, I'll tell you right now, it is plenty cold down here. You don't want to be out here. Uh, well, for one thing, <laughs> I, I, I always tell young reporters, put a hat on. And here I am standing here without a hat. I, I have a hat. I will put a hat on my head if I get stuck out here, but by and large, I think I'm coming back into the studio in a minute, at which point I will not need a hat. But if you're out here, put on a hat, put on some car hearts. You see, I got my Minnesota gear here. This stuff will keep you warm throughout the day. Let's check, let's check in with Lakin McGee and see what she's wearing. If she's got a hat on her head, Lakin, I hope you got a hat on. Hey, George, yeah, I do have a hat on. Uh, yeah, uh, Reporter 101, do not go out in the snow <laughs> without your hat on, that's for sure. And you know what? You mentioned you might have missed a meeting. I might have missed a couple more meetings because I've been out here since 5.30 this morning, and this snow has not stopped. I want to show you guys just right over here real quick. We are in a church parking lot at US 31 in Edgewood. So they plowed this parking lot. We could see pavement. Uh, can't see pavement now. So that was about an hour and a half ago. And we're going to toss you guys right over here to our vehicle. Uh, I mean, it's just continuing to come down. Uh, we've been trying to get the ice. I don't know if you guys can see it off of the windshield wipers. We are not having the best of luck doing that. So Please make sure you try your hardest to get all of that snow and ice off of here. And like I mentioned, we have been out here since 5.30 this morning. Uh, saw our first snow plow come through this road right here, this intersection, uh, just right before at 10 o'clock this morning. So yeah, uh, not a lot of plows out here on the south side of Indy where we're at, US 31 in Edgewood. So be safe. Also want to mention, we saw two people stopped at stoplights just like this, get out of their cars at the stoplights guys and try to get the ice and snow off of their windshield so that they can see make sure you do that before you get out on the roads because that's just i mean that's an accident waiting to happen uh like i mentioned the snow plows only saw one just one uh from 5 30 to 10 o'clock this morning come out through here so make sure you take it slow uh we're gonna be out here for the rest of the morning up through midday uh, so, Randy and guys, I mean, the snow, it doesn't seem like it's going to stop. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, and that's one of my pet peeves, Randall, too. All the, through the years, I always say, you know, before you take off, mm -hmm. get all the ice and the snow off the off windshield. The mm -hmm. when it, it drives me crazy. I'm driving down the road, and there's a little peephole, you yeah. know, right here, yeah. and the back window is just covered, and they can't see. So dangerous, but you got to yeah. get it all cleaned yeah. off. Yeah, and make sure you prepare, guys. Speaking of that, today's question of the day is brought to you by Kitchen Saver Custom Cabinet Renewal. The question, what are you up to today during this snowstorm? I know what we're up to. <laughs> yeah, we're working here. We got a lot going on. And then uh, we got one comment that says, uh, this is Southside, Troy Ave, and Shelby Street area around four inches of snow. Wow. Huh, okay. And this All is right. Brett, just out of my uh, balcony here, making spiced apple snow cones. Oh, so we're going, oh, oh, that's Brett. Oh, we're going to Brett's house after oh, this. Oh, that's Brett, yeah, Brett, Brett showing Brett. up. <laughs> yeah, okay. Shout All out right. to Brett Butler. Okay, uh, Gail says, Think I will stay home in the warm, Gail. I think that's a fantastic like that. idea. All yeah, right, really all right. So, so. Okay. those are plans that I think we can all get with. Oh, we got George. Oh, George, back. George the man hey. is back. <laughs> George is back here. How you feeling? It's way comfy in here. Yeah, I was kind, of, yeah. kind of warm. In <laughs> I don't here. know. I was. You started to make us jealous and try to get us outside. Maybe uh, it, it, it's, it's. You know, I, I'm still a little kid deep down inside, so Me it too. is fun to get out in the snow. Nice. And, okay. Well, yeah. we're gonna we let go you. Back we're gonna let you then, get so. cozy, yeah. get comfy. Me and me and Randy gonna go where we're most comfortable. The kitchen. You just <laughs> I really, I really have got to quit miss, missing these meetings. Yeah, yeah. Man. <laughs> uh, uh, oh man, oh, mind. we have Pavel in the kitchen with us today. Let me get on this side because I feel like this is closest. <laughs> oh, here comes Randy. Dang it! Now I got yeah, switched. Yeah, I'm over here. Ah. Uh, Pavel, how are you doing? Hey, how are Good you, to man? see you. Man, we appreciate you coming through in the studio, getting here safely. Yes. Now we got to talk food. Oh my. Seafood mix, is that right? Yeah, well, six food, yeah, seafood mix. And this is like, I'm going to be improvising a little bit. Okay. This is one thing that I made up, and that's one of the things that I do at home quite a few times because it's easy to cook and it's fast. Okay, you know, me and Randy love winging it, and then, of course, we love when food is cooked for us. We don't have to yeah. do the cooking, so yeah. Yeah, yeah that's we're, right. we're excited. <laughs> Especially on a cold, snowy day. Yeah. Well, right. Exactly. Uh,